Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Four years ago, I made a tutorial on how to create an interactive clones shot. But what if your clones are more dynamically interactive? Learn how I created this clone shot in HitFilm Express. So I plan the shot out by first standing on my deck and tossing the ball to no one. Then I ran off the deck and grabbed the ball and hit it in my hand and pretended to catch it. However, uh, the first couple of tries, the ball was not hidden enough until the third try happened. Now, I then used the raw footage for that, but the raw footage is 4K footage and... If I try to do a tutorial on that, the problem is, is that there's too much lag. So I have gone ahead and created uh, 1080 footage here. So we're, I have a footage of the, the toss and footage of the catch. I'm going to take the toss and I'm just going to make it into a composite shot. And you can see I just sort of throw the ball. And then I'm going to take the catch and I'm going to put it in here also. And if I open up the dynamic toss footage and change the opacity to 50%, then you can see that I have these two shots. They're not exactly aligned. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and adjust that. Here's where I make the catch, and this ball needs to be now dropping. Okay, so if I'm lucky, uh, then, boy, it would just land right in my hand, and I'd be good to go, right? The problem is I'm not that lucky. Uh, so as a result of that, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of moving and changing. But first, let's go ahead and mask out uh, the difference between these two. So on the top shot, I will go ahead and use a rectangular mask tool and just mask this. And I'm going to mask it right along the edge here of this deck post. Uh, and if I go ahead and re-up that to fit... 100%. Now you can see that both sides are there, except of course that the ball is getting masked out, starting about there, right? So what I'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate it, and I'm just going to rename that ball. Okay. And I will go ahead and trim it because I won't need it before this point. And then I'm just going to go to the and about probably right there is where it will end up being. Um, and I believe that will work. Let me just remove this mask and ooh, maybe just slightly lower again. Let me take the transparency down. Yeah, about about there, I would say. So I can go ahead and use the selection tool and just trim that to there. Maybe one more yeah, about there. Okay, so now you'll see that I have this whoosh, there, just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is using the page up and page down keys, I can move from the edit point to the next edit point. And I will go ahead and re-up the opacity of the, the ball. And if I come in here, I can use a circular mask tool holding down shift will make sure that it's a perfect circle and I will just mask out only the ball opening up the transform properties I can go ahead and uh, keyframe the position and now if I just uh, move forward a couple of frames by using the period key I can find it again and see how I'm creating keyframes along the way and I'm just going to go ahead and go over the entire uh, arc of the ball here all the way until I get to the end of that, which is not too long to there and there. And that's it. Okay. So now you can see that if I scale back out, uh, I have a the throw and the catch. But the problem is, of course, that um, it's not actually landing in my hand. So the fix for that will be if I come to the beginning of this and under the transform properties, I keyframe the position 
And then I go to the end and back up one frame and I just slide it over so that it's just getting ready to enter into my hand. Uh, then we have the full shot where I toss and catch. And that is how you do it. So if you like this kind of content, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.